Does feeling cold make you more likely to catch a cold? Asks Naomi. Now, this is a widely held belief, thanks to one group of people in particular, mums. Remember to take a jacket. I will. But is it true? One thing we can say for sure is that viruses cause colds. To get a cold, you need to catch it from someone else, carrying a respiratory virus like the rhinovirus. You cannot get it just from being cold. But does the feeling of being cold make you more likely to get sick from any cold viruses you are exposed to? A number of studies have tested this out, but so far the results have been inconclusive. How long do I have to stay in here? Until you get results, damn it. You forgot your jacket. Could I please have the jacket? This is surprising because we know that even though those cold viruses exist throughout the year, more people get sick with the cold in cooler months, at least in colder or temperate climates. So there is something about winter that leads to people getting sick from colds. One theory is that in winter, our behaviour changes. We spend more time indoors where there's less ventilation and it's harder to socially distance from airborne germs. <laughs> Now let's see what a sneeze looks like with a high-speed camera so we can see what's going on and ruin socialising forever. Yuck! This place is disgusting. People wearing shoes inside the house. It's fine. But, yeah, let's go. Hey, 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 hey! No, Mum! There are also physiological reasons why you're more likely to get sick in cold weather. For starters, rhinovirus replicates better at cooler temperatures, which is why it tends to affect your nasal cavity more than your lungs. Plus, your nose can be even cooler in winter, helping those cold viruses replicate even more. Now, the nose has its own defence system, but a lab study last year found that some defences could also be reduced in effectiveness by almost a half when the nose is just five degrees colder. And another study in 2015 found that cooler temperatures affect the virus-fighting ability of the proteins involved interferons, which help kickstart the immune response. And yes, interferons is a real scientific term and not just a stupid word I made up, but I understand why you'd make that assumption. Just take the jacket. I'd rather die! Uh... Doctor, I'm dying. I don't think so. You're gonna live. Should I have worn a jacket? No, that's all about the myth of staying warm when you've got a cold. The cold weather affects your nose and its ability to stave off the virus, and the cold weather also affects the virus itself. So what I really need is a jacket for my nose. I actually think a mask might be better. You know, stops you spreading droplets to other people and it protects you as well. There you go, at it with the masks again. But still, Mum, no, no jacket. I'm not trying to give you your jacket. I'm trying to meet Norman Swan. So, while there's evidence cold weather does increase your chances of catching a cold, wearing a jacket probably isn't going to stop you from getting sick. But you might want to wear a jacket anyway if you're the kind of person who doesn't like to feel cold. Unless, of course, you're trying to prove a point. Mum. Thanks, Mum. <laughs>